Welcome to our exploration of the seven habits for enjoying your life as a Christian youth. As we delve into these habits, let's recall the words from Ecclesiastes 11 verse 9. Rejoice, young man, in your youth, and let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth, and walk in the ways of your heart, and in the sight of your eyes. But know that for all these things, God will bring you into judgment. To live a happy life as a Christian youth, you must first address a contentious mindset. Contentment never arises from contention. It frustrates the favor ordained to flow your way, which in turn brings happiness. Change your mindset. Refrain from complaining. Develop the habit of extending grace to others and witness how God and men come through for you daily. The second habit to adopt to enjoy your Christian youth is compliance. Compliance with authority brings happiness, as the Lord stated in John 13 verse 17. If you know these things and do them, happy will you be. The third habit is to compliment others, especially those in authority for the goodness you receive. Be thankful for their deeds, and more will be done for you. Make it easy for authority figures to lead and deal with you. Honor your father and mother, and your days will be full of happiness, with many blessings on earth, as stated in Exodus 20 verse 12. The fourth habit to cultivate for happier days as a young believer is forgiveness. Although bitterness may seem justified, it darkens and defiles the heart, as mentioned in Hebrews 12:15. Forgive those who wrong you, including authority figures, as God commands. Failure to forgive others blocks God's forgiveness for your sins. Without forgiveness, your spiritual efforts like prayer, fasting, and giving may seem futile. Unforgiven sins hinder heavenly blessings and happiness, as told in Matthew 18, verses 23 to 35. The fifth habit to develop to live a pleasant life even from your youth is willingness and obedience to the Holy Spirit's guidance. Isaiah 1 verses 19, 20 emphasizes the rewards of willingness and obedience and the consequences of rebellion. Rebellion is equated to witchcraft as stated in 1 Samuel 15 verse 23, leading to missed divine moments and happy occasions due to carnal mindedness, as mentioned in Romans 8 verse 6. The sixth habit contributing to a happy life is comforting others. Ignoring others' suffering due to unforgiveness invites the devil's devices, as highlighted in 2 Corinthians 2 verses 10. 11. The seventh and final habit to enjoying the days of your youth is fearing sin and its consequences, as sin grieves the Holy Spirit and opens doors for demonic attacks. Remember, casting out an evil spirit without filling the void with the Holy Spirit invites worse consequences from evil spirits, as warned in Matthew 12 verses 43, 45 and John 5 verse 14. These seven habits pave the way to a happier Christian youth life. Cultivate them and experience heaven on earth.